Hello, my friends. Welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, I am still a little bit under the weather, so I didn't want to start anything new. So as a result, I kind of canceled all the stuff I was doing today because I didn't feel great. And instead, I just kind of tried to figure out how to get the world record on the final mission of A Place in My Dreams, which is on Titan difficulty. So the final mission of the main campaign of Age of Mythology. And I've kind of figured out how I think I can do it. But I haven't actually put all the pieces together yet, so this is going to be my first attempt. Now, there aren't particularly many runs in Age of Mythology uh, retold at this point, because the game is obviously very, very new. And getting all in on the ground floor, I think, is very interesting, right? Like, someone has to be one of the first people to do it, so I just felt like it'd be cool to set a little baseline here. Uh, I, I think a couple people have already submitted with, like, Pretty decent good times, but definitely, definitely not the most optimized thing. And it's not seven years worth of optimization or something, right? So what we're going to do is, oh, and then the reason this is interesting to me is because this mission in the original game is like a super, super bore, but Titan difficulty in retold is actually quite hard, like definitely harder than Starcraft Brutal, for example. And as a result, I think there's a lot of interesting stuff going on here. Like, we gotta do a lot of stuff, and we're gonna be working with very, very little in order to make that lot of stuff happen. First thing we're doing is grabbing these hoplites and bringing them over to this plenty vault using the bronze power to give them damage reduction. While we use our Kantos, our hero, to run over to this plenty vault, we're gonna bolt one of these, and then we're going to attack this Colossus and take it down. Meanwhile, we are building an expansion over there to get more worker production and have a nice little drop-off place for money. Let's see, we want to have a couple of you over here. We're going to start a fortress. Let's see, uh, captured that. And then as we are running out, we are going to drop a restoration because I forgot to do it in the fight. And we're going to try to bring him back. Unfortunately, he was not back in time for that attack, which means we're going to run to Egypt. We're going to try to use the Egyptians to help us out during all of this. And then we have to take a another base. There we go. So we got one guy following us. We have both these plenty vaults. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, if that dies... Perfect. Uh, that was one of those, if this building died, we were in terrible shape. If he just attacked it and it didn't die, we were in great shape. Okay, you guys want to go right here, and then you are going to build some walls this way, and you are going to build some wall over here. Uh, we don't want to build very much here. In fact, we want to build the smallest amount of stuff we possibly can. However, the Age of Mythology AI is incredibly inconsistent. It is wild in where it ends up and where it attacks and all that kind of stuff. So as a result, we have to be very, very, very diligent with uh, making sure the areas are crossed off up here. Because sometimes they'll like try to uh, attack this player, but they'll come up from here and just wind through all of this and you never know what's happening. But with a couple walls, you can at least contain that basic level of movement. And we're gonna take that Toxetes. We're gonna bring him up here as a little bit of a spotter. We're gonna have the rest of our army over here as we continue to get our gold income. And once we have 800 gold, we'll be able to start worshipping Hephaestus and get to the Mythic Age. I'm definitely not executing things at the level that I could be, like if I were perfect. But as I said, this is my first real attempt at this. So it's, uh, you know, putting the pieces together and mastering the pieces is an exercise for later. The reason that we have the lumber to get, like, these upgrades, which are very important, are because we were proactive on getting these, uh, plenty vaults early on. And as I said, the enemies, I believe, do eventually come and recapture them, but it's pretty far into the future, to the point where, if we're speedrunning, it, I'm not sure it ever comes up. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And we're making full advantage of that. So we have a nice little army over here. I'm going to continue empowering what I can. Oh, this is double attack waves, actually. I'm not sure. I only have one god power for this entire mission. 
So I don't want to use it if I don't have to. We're looking okay, so I'm going to not use it. This is a very complicated resource game at this point, figuring out what resources we have available. And then when we do and don't have to use the Son of Osiris, because he can empower things and we get more money for free when we empower. Just uh, 10 resource being brought back will give you 20 resources if the building is empowered. But he's also our best defensive unit by far. Which means in this mission, with uh, enemies who are super turbo buffed, we have to be making a lot of interesting decisions about how to how to stay alive. And I think that's cool. Um, the game previously was not nearly this interesting decision-wise. Uh, this mission is very flat in the base form. So what we're trying to do here is get 5,000 of each resource so that we can afford the uh, wonder. The wonder that we then use to promote Arkantos into a demigod, and we can fight the final boss. Uh, and 5,000 of each re resource is exactly as much as it sounds. It is a astonishingly large amount. And we need more food, specifically. Lumber is the thing that we can kind of delay the least. But in order to get this money, because we're banking up a lot, we just can't build anything at this point. This is... What you see is what you get with this army. We have one guy over here who's going to be bait. Oh, we got, uh, this little thingy. Our own plenty vault. So this army, it has to be able to dart back and forth. Oh, oh, no. Ah, so fast. And then we want to fight with our allies whenever possible because they are, they are anything. <laughs> but, like, this attack really, really often ends up at the Norse. Because I believe that it spawns over here and usually just comes down or around here. This time it decided to come up here, which is a little bit obnoxious. Uh, the Norse could really, really afford to take some of the damage. Oh gosh, uh, you guys want to go on to lumber? Because they've not been hit yet, and ideally it is spread out amongst everybody. Oh gosh, another attack this way! As I said, what luck. I'm going to pull the Son of Osiris for this. Actually, it's looking okay. We're going to empower our food generation for a while. As we keep everything going and keep grabbing what we can. It only works on one building at a time, which means that for stuff like the food, where we're getting some over here and some over here, and we were getting some over here earlier, it uh, it's not as effective. Right now, we're going to stop gold mining completely and go all the way onto food with new people going onto lumber. Maybe even more lumber. Unfortunately, these attacks have just been uncommonly bad. Or maybe commonly bad, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it feels like uh, the Norse need to be taking a little bit of heat here. You know, everyone's got to be working together, Mr. Norse Force. Uh, do I want to build a market? I think I do. Unfortunately, what happened here is during all of this, I ended up mining a little bit too much gold. But we can use gold to buy other resources. It's not as efficient as we'd like it to be. But it is something. It's better than the alternative of being wasteful. Oh, there we go. Norse taking some damage here. This is interesting. I think they're going to be okay. We are sending our army over to help out. If we get attacked over here at the same time, it's going to be very bad. Extra giants is fantastic timing. Thank you. And then you need to come over and do lumbar support. Okay, uh, we can buy a hundred lumber. This area is completely fine. Our allies are doing great and we are about... I think we have enough. Here we go. So, Wonder Production is beginning, and then the Son of Osiris can empower the Wonder Production to give it, I think it's 75 increased build speed, and then we have to surround it completely with workers to get maximum build speed, which hopefully we should be able to do with our 70 workers. And then during this point, assuming we have a full surround, which 
Yes, we do. We are going to stop worker production and build a couple heroes to help us defend. Because now we're going to get to the point where Arkantos is also not going to be with the party because he is going to have to go win the mission. Yeah, we got a couple idle guys. This is good. You want to have a couple idols. No, no, no. You could. Can you fit in here? I don't want to rock the boat. I'm going to choose to believe that you can't. So what we need to be doing now is preparing to get our Kantos onto the other side of the map. By the way, uh, the in-game time for the current world record is 1627. So this number up here. If we're faster than 1627, then we got it. Hmm. We're going to have to start moving these guys over here. I don't like this. So ideally what happens is we don't have to deal with an attack wave because if Arkantos dies on his way over, it'll be very awkward. Good, 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 good. Okay, yes. They're attacking that way. We're going to bring these guys as an escort. So hopefully there's no double attacks, but you never know what happens in this game. It looks like the Norse allies are in fact at... Here's the double attack. Good thing that I did this. Arkantos does his yell. And then I don't want to use my favor if at all possible. I just want to run Arkantos through. Arkantos. Come on. You can do it, buddy. I know there's so many giant grant games around here. There you go. How are we doing on production? Uh, we could have been faster, but truly it was the worst timing. And I think we dealt with it really well. So we got to get him over for the final fight. Yeah, it, ideally we'd want to be right here. Right now. No, the donkey! We got donkey blocked! Unfortunate. Oh no, Arkantos is so low on hit points. Don't worry about it. We become a demigod. We get full heal. Pull this guy over here. Then we're going to put plenty of vault right around here to prevent the enemies from uh, getting in our way. They will get in our way. It's going to be very annoying. Uh, a bunch of guys are going to start spawning from here. Unfortunately, we can't kite him very far away. But if they... Sometimes they can uh, physically push stuff around. And then if we just can't hit, then we can't win. So we got to be... Kind of lucky here. Oh, we also can't do god powers. Well, I guess we can do god powers, uh, but not on the Poseidon statue. So this is where it gets kind of close. We do about 500 damage per hit, but he does uh, heal pretty quick. Arkantos is going to start taking a lot of pain. But he only needs to do about three more hits. There we go. And that was a 13. 47. So about uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds faster than the previous record. All in all, I think that strategy is pretty darn good. The way that it doesn't require any production whatsoever is very nice, and uh, grabbing the Plenty Vaults very early on with those technical moves, and then not having to use the God Powers to defend is the big thing. And that's really the optimization there, is figuring out how to live against all these enemies and their crazy attacks from weird angles. A, without the God Powers, and B, without producing anything. But with that setup, I think it's really neat. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As I was saying, a little bit of a different video for today, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm gonna go lay down, because my head hurts. Peace.